let's talk more about Star Wars, the real life Star Wars, how it works. When you, well, when I fall asleep, my Wi-Fi and or the neighbor's Wi-Fi picks up my soul and transports me through the internet to the Denver airport which has an intergalactic slash interdimensional internet where from there I go to my one of my clones because I am the real life Boa Fett. I'm the real life person who they used to clone a bunch of stormtroopers. And when I was in college, I was in an anatomy class, and I had a vision of myself wearing a stormtrooper outfit. However, it was a lot more cream colored. It wasn't really a white color. It was like like the color of sand. And uh, if you, a lot of you have noticed that uh, Denver, Colorado is one of the places of great significance, which is why they are stimulating the economy there with marijuana. Also, the Queen of England owns a mansion right outside the Denver airport. Um, Dita Von Teese is an alternative host body for the Queen of England. And it's really easy to see why, because she doesn't have any cheese on her hamstrings. And basically that's exactly what it boils down to, because I've been uh, looking at pictures of her, and I cannot see any cheese on her hamstrings at all. And that is an anomaly for a girl that's that big. So that is very rare and that's exactly the same reason why Melanie, my future wife, prearranged prearranged future wife, well that's the same reason why they chose her for me because they always choose champions for the the royalty, the highest of beings on the earth. Because anything less would be a crime. And then this, uh, if you look here, it says, there's a time capsule beneath this stone. It contains messages and memorabilia to the people of Colorado in 2094 and I highly doubt that they're going to make it that far or that long so I'm pretty sure the Nova will happen by then but who knows the future is always changing but the word den d e n means a safe place like Ogdensburg New York it's a safe place Sweden Denmark all safe from the deluges that are coming and with uh, Denver it's very obvious because you know it's elevated above the sea level and it's um, there's a lot of room upon the hill so I asked Reptoid Wizard who has now rebranded himself as Astral Projection who's been missing in action I asked him who the enemy is and he said the Goa Eld because I'm the real life stormtrooper clone well I'm not a clone but my I have clones because I was chosen because I was a person with a lot of 
Jedi ability. So the enemy is the Goa Eld. Reptoid wizard says that they can inhabit the body of any animal they want to. He said that they were worm-like creatures. And I was telling the guy that um, he, he was wondering why the gray aliens chose me. And it's, it's not, it, it's, it has a lot to do with the physique, but primarily the metaphysical abilities. Because remember, the Jedi weren't good swordsmen because they were practicing fighting. The Force guided the lightsaber. It wasn't, they weren't really like fighting, they were using the Force to guide the lightsaber. So that's why. They chose me because I have a very high knowledge of I mean I'm the Dragon King for Christ's sake. So uh, it's basically to recap uh, from the beginning in case you missed it in the other video. Woke up one day in a lot of pain, too much pain to be justified from just sleeping. And I also felt like I had been injected in my left lat, my right lat. And in the past I've seen at least like 40 to 60 gray aliens in my room. It turns out they've been busy making clones of me to fight the Guild, probably on Orion. And I've had visions of the Imperial Walkers, as you have seen in Star Wars, like right here. So I've had uh, visions of these Imperial Walkers. These are very real. And I've had visions of myself holding lightsabers. So the whole uh, thing about waking up in pain is that when I go to war on the astral plane that the injuries I sustain there is a reflection of my physical, my astral body is a reflection of my physical body. So the pain I sustain on the astral plane reflects on my physical body and as it stands right now I cannot sprint without being in a lot of pain. I can only run at 7 miles an hour. I usually run at 11 miles an hour. And my hips feel like they're pressed together, especially the right one. And uh, I do everything I possibly can to recover quicker. Spirulina, wheatgrass, hemp, protein that is not marijuana but hemp protein. Monosomic gold, three gallons of water a day. I try to recover quick but if the pain it goes on. Uh, apparently my karma is not affected. Apparently what you do on the astral plane does not reflect upon your karma, so me being abducted by gray aliens to fight for them does not affect me.